Good evening, everyone. Um, sorry about all the schedule changes. Uh, last week, there was no class, uh, and I apologize for that. That was um, my, I don't want to say mistake, but that was my call. Uh, very sudden cancellation of classes last week. And this week, um, I realized that this is supposed to be Chosebi. And that means that we already promised that today would not be a class. You just have to do an assignment. And that assignment uh, you've already got. So as long as you do that, then we're not going not gonna to have a class today. So that puts us actually pretty much behind schedule because last week was supposed to be your midterm examination. And I know that I haven't prepared you for that, so I have to give you time to prepare. Now, what the midterm examination will be, I will explain next class because we haven't really talked about it. But basically, it's going to be a presentation, another video, and another video on top of all the videos you're already making. So I'm going to make up my mind about how to do that uh, with you and uh, explain it next week uh, when we come back on July 6th. So I just want to make sure in this video that I tell you what you're supposed to do this week. So let me show you uh, what you're supposed to be doing first by showing you our Moodle. This is our Moodle, uh, English 7D. And we go all the way down here. Okay, you're going to see my, let me show you your students uh, version of this. You won't get confused when you see all of my stuff. Okay, so here we are, June 29th, uh, the classwork today. There will be no Zoom class today, but you have two uh, things that you have to do, okay? You have to do the makeup class comment, and that's this one right here, okay? Makeup class 0629, put a comment on Goldfish 365, and then you put a comment inside this assignment, okay? Don't forget, both places, both goldfish365.com and inside this assignment. Make sure that you have a backup copy on your hard drive that you wrote in Microsoft. That way, if anything happens, you still have the backup copy. Number two, to keep us on schedule, I want you to do uh, the, now where is my textbook? It is not here, it is here. I want you to do pages 46, well, I don't know what it says, it's 4077. Okay, it's not 46 to 77, it's 46 to 77. So now I'm gonna have to change my role here and um, change that to editing mode. So now it says 46 to 77, it should be 46 to 47. I'll say that right now, which 46 to 47. Now we're back, change that back to students. And we'll go back to the 29th. Okay, there it is, 46 to 47, which is basically going to be here, if you can see in my cameras. This is something that you've done all the time, okay? You're gonna make, uh, you're gonna make a manuscript for unit number five. Unit number five, okay? This one is about people, uh, biographies. Read through that write up your manuscript, and then we can prepare for next week, okay? Now, this is basically the same pattern that we've been doing all this time. You write a manuscript, and then you do the video. Now, let me show you how the video is going to work out. Okay, the video that I want you to see that we'll be doing is basically already on our Goldfish uh, 365 page on Facebook, and it's at the very top, and it's this one of me walking, okay? So, let's take a look at that. So, I am taking a walk uh, down past my house, up towards the junior high school that is just at the end of this hill. And I wanted to show you what it looks like when you're actually doing a video while you're walking. I want you to make sure that in your walking video, you can see your hands. Okay, one hand will be holding up your phone, and you have to do this on your phone. One hand will be holding up your phone, the other one should be gesturing. I want you to do this in one take, okay? I want you to be able to do this now, either on your microphone, or if you feel you can do it just without a microphone, that's fine too. But I want you to stop depending on your notes and memorizing your stuff all the time. Uh, we're gonna get pretty bright here because the sun is about to come. And um, maybe for the next uh, little bit, I'll just tell you something I've been thinking about recently. And that's uh, what's going to happen to education. Um, I think uh, when we come back even in October that um, the university is still going to use a combination between um, what we call remote teaching, remote being distant teaching, and sometimes classrooms. 
because until we really figure out what's wrong, uh, until we really figure out a cure for the coronavirus, and we can make sure that the coronavirus is not dangerous anymore, then that's something that we're going to have to sometimes go back into our houses, stay away from other people, and sometimes we can come out, then we have to go back in, then we can come out, we have to go back in. So I think at least for the next year, until the vaccine is complete, remote teaching, remote education, is something we're going to be doing, well, in my opinion, at least until 2021 springtime. So until about March, maybe May, until we really get a vaccine and we get it to everybody. You can't just make it. You have to get it to people and you have to get it to a lot of people. Until you get that done, this is the way it's going to be for a little while. So you guys have to get used to this. Taking videos, talking to people online, uh, being able to say what you want to say uh, without being able to be right in front of them. Being, a, being able to express yourself even in English or in Japanese very, very well. That's a different set of skills. And you're going to need to learn them. So I suggest you just keep trying. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, while we're here, let me explain to you all the details of it. They're all written here, okay? But number one, you're gonna walk while you do this video. You're gonna walk either around inside your room or you're gonna walk around outside. I suggest that you find a place that you know where nobody will be walking, uh, where nobody will be so that then you can do it without a mask. If, you, if there is any chance that someone might walk past you, make sure that you wear a mask while you do this. Now. If you wear a mask, it's going to be much harder to express yourself. Then you're going to have to learn to use your gestures. You're going to have to have a strong voice because you're wearing a mask. These are all things that are going to be your choice. Either find a way to do it with a mask, which I think is much more difficult, or without a mask. But then you're going to have to do a lot of planning. Or do it inside your room where you're walking around in a circle. But you walk while you do this, okay? And I want to see both your hands. One hand will be holding your camera. Okay, and the other hand, I want you to gesture. Gesture with this hand, okay? And you have to be able to do eye contact well too, just like I did in the video. Okay, so here you are. I want you to hold your phone in one hand and gesture with the other. Maintain good eye contact. If you look down there, okay? Your video is going to be about two and a half, three, three minutes long. Mine was about two minutes and 45 seconds. Now, some of you were editing your video. You would do the important person, then cut it, then do the important thing. And I do not want you to edit your video. I want it done in one take all the way through. So get ready. You're going to do that whole two and a half minutes in English. You make a mistake. You have to stop. That's okay. I want your natural English. I don't want you to cheat by using notes. I don't want you to cheat by holding your notes in another hand. That's cheating. I want to hear your natural English skill. Your deadline is still a long time away, July 12th, so we'll have time to talk about this next week. But I want you to see what you have to do. I want you to prepare your manuscript uh, for next week and from the manuscript, then we'll be able to get started from there. Okay, so thank you very much, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.